Hey friends, Gator Mom here. I hope you're having an awesome summer. Today I have a new release from Jujube to share with you. This bag style is called the BFF and today I have it to show you in this gorgeous olive rose color. Happy summer friends. I hope everyone is having a good start to their summer and it's not as crazy as mine is, <laughs> but I have all three of my kids home right now. And so if I have to stop this video like a hundred times or if we hear any screaming in the background, it is because they are all home and I'm not quite sure what they're doing right now at this exact moment, but that's okay. Um, we are focused on this brand new gorgeous bag from Jujube. It is called Olive Rose and it is launching on June 21st. It is coming out in a few different bag styles. I have it in the BFF to share with you today. Um, keep a look out on Jujubees like Pinterest. They usually come out with like a Pinterest page that has all of the different styles and then a list of the boutique stores that are going to be carrying this bag um, and the different online places that you can buy them. I am absolutely obsessed with this bag. It has been a while since I've carried the BFF and I, let me tell you why just for a quick moment. I absolutely love the BFF. It is my number one diaper bag that I recommend for first time moms or moms even with infants or any time that you have littles because it has so much internal organization and there's multiple ways that you can carry this bag. You can carry it backpack style, you can carry it messenger style, you can carry it over your shoulder. It has awesome D-rings here on the side that you can carry it on your stroller really, really easily. So it is definitely by far, hands down, my number one bag that I recommend for um, moms that have infants or first time moms. It's just always been a go-to. But as my kids get older, I find myself gravitating away from the BFF and moving into bags like the Be Right Back or Super Bees or Large Totes or bags like that. Just personal preference. Um, I just tend to move out of the BFF and I move into different style bags. So it's been a while being that I have a nine year old, a seven year old and a four year old since I've carried the BFF. And when I saw Jujubee release pictures of this olive rose in the BFF, I just had to have it because I don't know what it is about this like rose gold hardware against this olive color and it just, it looked so pretty to me and I'm like, you know what, I really wanna try the BFF again with older kids. I know a lot of you that have been following me for quite some time also have kids in similar ages and have been asking for a updated review on the BFF. So I'm excited to share this one with you guys and I'm actually really surprised at how much I like carrying the BFF and I love it on this bag. And the reason being is that this material, it's very similar to their chrome material. So it's very soft and it's um, a little bit more kind of squishy, if you will, than the traditional Jujube fabric. So I love it, like not super stuffed. I like that it's um, a little bit more soft, if you will, to carry. And I just, I really, really like this olive rose on the BFF. I feel like it's a little bit more lightweight than the normal material too. Um, and it's still machine washable, just like all of their normal bags. I have this packed up pretty full because I have been like in and out. We have been running so many errands lately. Um, we're in the process of selling our home, so we've been in and out of our house with showings and back and forth from Disney and Grandma's house and all these other places, so it's packed pretty full. So I'm gonna go ahead and get right into the bag. I know this is kind of a long intro, I've been like rambling, but um, like I said, I have it packed up for all three of my kids, kind of a normal day out. Um, it's got a ton of activities and a bunch of snacks and things like that inside, um, so I wanna show you how I have this one packed up. So. As you can see here on the front, it has this gorgeous rose gold hardware. I absolutely am obsessed with it. I love it. It looks so pretty against this um, olive color. You have the normal traditional tech pocket here on the front. I just have um, my iPhone here in the front. It fits perfect vertically there. This is an iPhone 10. I don't think I have anything else in this pocket. Oh, I have a hair tie. Um, down inside that pocket. And then you have um, the mommy pocket here in the front, um, double zip zippers here. I normally just keep everything for me inside this pocket. And then you'll see also in here, I'll kind of tell you another little trick that I have in here, but usually inside this pocket, it's just stuff for me. And I love like this, um, this type of material. I'm gonna call it like the chrome material. I don't really know what else to call it, but that's just what it reminds me of. But it's just really um, like, 
I don't know, like flimsy, if you will. I don't want it to sound, I don't want it, like flimsy to me sounds like a cheap material, but it's by far a cheap material, but it just folds really easily and it's super soft. So as you can see, like that mommy pocket, like opening up, it's just like a really easy material and it just, it's just really lightweight for summer. So it just opens up there in the front and um, I just have a pair of big sunglasses here. These are like big sunnies from the loft. I think I got them at the outlet, but um, I just have them down there in the front. I have my keys attached here um, to this uh, key leash here and then up here in this pocket in the front I have some tissues I have my um, this is just a house key to my dad's house <laughs> and then I also have a pack of bubble gum this is just like classic extra bubble gum because this is, has been a treat for all three of my kids when they're really good they get a piece of bubble gum <laughs> it's been working wonders lately even the four-year-old he knows like not to put it anywhere. So, so far we've been like good with bubble gum. Anyways, um, I just have a pen here cause I have my planner and stuff back here. This is um, just like a pilot pen. It's the simplified planner, Emily lay pen, kind of a collaboration that they did. I have some Paw Patrol stickers here in the front. This is like a small little pack that I got at Target. It's a cute little kind of box shape fits really good in that front pocket. I have a Lancome compact in this front pocket. And then over here in the zipper, it does zip. I just usually keep it open for ease. I have um, a posh healer stick that I use for a chapstick. I have a small mascara. This is the Benefit brand. I got it Ulta. It's one I've been using lately. I love this hand cream. It's by The Body Shop. It's called Satsuma. It's a very like citrusy and orange scent. I love it. It's like one of my favorites. And then I have a um, NYX. A lipstick. It's like a lip butter. I'm not sure what color it is, but um, it's been one I've been wearing. And then I don't have anything else inside that pocket. So that's everything inside that mommy pocket there. Could have probably fit a little bit more, but I usually don't stuff the, you know, the front mommy pockets. On these side pockets here, you do have insulated bottle pockets, which are awesome to keep things hot or cold. I normally will keep a water bottle here on the side, so I don't have anything over there. And then I always tend to leave one of the pockets empty um, as like a catch-all, like if I have my wallet out, which I normally keep in here, and I'm uh, like I need to throw it in something really quickly, I'll put it in here, or my keys, or my, like I just always have one open. Right now I just have attached to this little like key leash, um, a hand sanitizer from Bath & Body Works. I find that it works really well to kind of have it attached to something as opposed to just on this clip. It's like a little bit more of a length because I can throw it at one of my kids if we're like sitting down eating and it doesn't get lost, but it has a little bit more of a length to it, if you will. It's just kind of like a little trick, I don't know. Um, but it works really well um, for them to just kind of use. So, And if I have it on my back, they can just kind of fish it out and use it as opposed to having to be like this close to the bag and get hand sanitizer all over the side of my bag. You guys know what I'm talking about. You've been there, I know. <laughs> but anyways, so I have that kind of down in the side of the pocket there. Then on the back of the bag, oh my gosh, my kids are going nuts. I hope you guys can't hear them. They sound like crazy people. <laughs> Anyways, but on the back of the bag here, I have um, the backpack straps because that is how I carry this bag. Anytime I can go backpack mode with a bag, it's, it's backpack for sure. So I love the hardware. It's like so pretty. I have my big old planner stuffed back here. 99% of the time, I will not have it back here because I don't like to put that much pressure on the bag, but we, like I said, we are moving and my life has been in this planner lately, so it won't I, like always be back here, but I do have it back here and I'd like to show that it does fit for those of you that have big planners like the Simplified Planner or the Erin Condren's or planners like that. This back pocket is absolutely perfect for it. I have also been carrying my MacBook um, uh, laptop back there. I have a 13 inch and it fits perfectly back there also. So just kind of like a heads up if you guys um, have the MacBooks. They fit really good back here in this back pocket. So just alternative things that you can use that pocket for if you don't need the change pad. So like I said, big old chunky simplified planner. I'm so excited to be going into their weekly planner um, that starts in August. I did a little review on that for those of you that want to see that. But um, paint samples um, just kind of shoved back there. And then I also have this game um, I put in there actually yesterday. 
that my kids love. I put a little post on Instagram because I'm like obsessed with it. It is by um, Alex Brand and I got it at Target. It's a magnetic like on the go checkers. This thing has been amazing. It is so cool. It is like, like a magnetic checkers game and the kids love it. We also have Hangman and another one, but they're really strong magnetic and the kids can like play it in the car. They can play it while we're waiting for our food and the pieces don't fall out. It's not like cheap like all of those other, like we've gotten so many magnetic games and they just like do not last. But this one is awesome. Oh, and you can play tic-tac-toe too, which is kind of cool. But um, but yeah, and it's really small and thin and you could stick it in and out of your bags and it's just really cool. So we have that in there. I also had it like in the inside of the bag, but we were playing it at breakfast. So I threw it in the back there. So anyways, that's everything on the outside of the bag. I'm going to go ahead, set the camera up and jump on into the inside of the bag. I absolutely love the way the BFF opens up, especially when you have it hanging on a stroller or like in the front seat of your car. You can really see everything that's inside the BFF. You have two zipper pulls here, so it opens up nice and wide, and then you can really see everything that's on the inside. On the front flap here, you have two picture pockets, so you can put pictures or like doctor's information or phone numbers or anything that you need right here. You have two picture pockets. I don't have them utilized for anything right now, and then on that front flap you also have one long pocket here um, you can kind of see down there in the front of the camera but um, all of these zipper pulls that are on the inside of the bag also have this really pretty rose gold zipper inside this front zipper I kind of have something that is one of those like if you need it you're really happy that you have it so <laughs> I don't know but I just have a couple of um, baggies these are kind of like grocery type bags but they have an absorbent bottom they go with the travel potty seat that we used to have um, I actually don't remember the brand of it right now but you guys can find these on Amazon um, that's actually where we got them we have a ton of these left over from our travel potty seat and I wasn't sure what I was gonna do with them but I have been carrying them with me because I have two boys that get car sick all of the time. And when we're in the car for long periods of time, like we have been lately, or if we're going to Disney and it's kind of like stop and go Orlando type traffic, um, sometimes they will get car sick. And so it's just something that I like to have with me in the event that that happens. These work wonders because of that kind of um, absorbent type bottom. Or if there's an accident and I have wet things um, or anything like that, or I just need a trash bag in general, these are just really great to have. They fold up nice and small and this is a great little pocket here in the front to use them for So that's what I have inside that pocket I've been carrying them to the parks with me a lot lately too because it's just one of those things that make me feel a little bit better as a mom to carry in the event that we have um, something like that happen. So that's what I have in the front of that pocket. Then inside the VFF, you have crazy amounts of organization. You can pack it so many different ways. I've done a ton of different VFF packing videos over the years, even when my kids were littles. So I'll definitely have my playlist in the description box for those of you that have little um, itty bitties and wanna see different ways to pack it up. But you have tons of pockets on the inside. You have two pockets here on the side. You have another two pockets here in the back and then two more zipper pockets. So I'm just gonna go ahead and pull everything out and try not to take forever. <laughs> but inside the main bulk of the bag here, I have a pouch that I've absolutely been loving. I got it from Target. We are a big Disney family. Um, we're Disney annual pass holders and we frequent the parks a lot and we're like hardcore Disney fans right now. So, um, but I got this at Target. It's one of the new like Disney items that they have there. It is the cute cutest little clear pouch. Um, it's structured. It has like a cute little Mickey here on the side and we've been carrying it in like all of our GGB bags. It tends to just kind of go in everything. It's been our snack holder for like all of, for everything, but um, I'm not going to open it all up just because um, it will just take forever. But as you guys can see, it holds all of our snacks and and some. I mean, there's just snacks for days in this thing. There's raisins and crackers. I have wet ones down in here. Some of those yogurt go squeeze type pouches. Um, there's like different fruit leathers. It opens up nice and big. There's usually goldfish. What's nice about it is like I can put um, crackers in there and it holds like a structure to it so it doesn't like crunch everything if I have chips and stuff in there. So um, we just have this sitting kind of on the inside of the bag and 
I've needed a ton of snacks. Um, the kids are like snack ages. So um, this works really well. It just kind of hangs up or hangs out inside the bag. I can also set it up vertically if I wanted to kind of pack things this way. So that's what I have in the middle of the BFF there. Then just kind of stacked behind it, I have a book that my daughter is reading. It's just kind of like a chapter book that she's reading. And then I have two Curious George books. I think we got those in Happy Meals at one point, but um, they're just little, um, just kind of stories that we read whenever we're waiting, like at a restaurant or the park or whatever. So I have those back there. And then like I said, that book is one that my daughter's reading right now. And then um, over here to the side, I just have a little coloring book that my daughter's been using and then another little Mickey pouch, believe it or not, that I got at Target. This pouch came in a set of makeup brushes. Um, those of you that might be looking for this one, again, it also has like a cute little Mickey there on the side. And then inside here, she has all of her twistable um, little crayons that she uses in that coloring book there. So it's super cute. Um, I might steal it from her and like use it for my pens one day if I ever get it out of her sight, but maybe not. But anyway, so inside there she has her little twistables and then she's been using this coloring book. Um, every time we go out to eat, she colors like a new page in it. She kind of goes in order. So that's been her little thing that she does. So that's what's in there. I always have a play pack in here for the youngest if he wants to color with her. And then this little um, small set piece that I just have wedged down here is a bunch of little handheld toys that my two boys tend to play. Even the nine-year-old, he just kind of plays with the four-year-old. I have wiki sticks in here. If you guys don't know what these are, oh my gosh. We actually have a restaurant um, near us that gives these in their little kids meals um, or like when we're waiting for food. And they're so cool, but you can get them on Amazon. I've actually looked for them. They're wiki sticks is what they're called, but they're little like, I don't even know how to explain them. They're so weird. They're like rubberized things and you can like make little, I don't know, things with them. <laughs> That's like such a bad description. But anyways, um, but the kids have little toys and they like wrap the little um, like Buzz Lightyears and they hang them from the tables and they do crazy things with them. But anyways, in that pouch, there's all little like handheld um, toys that the boys play with is basically what's in that small set piece. So that's what's inside there. And then at the very bottom here, um, which was something that I kind of touched on earlier, is a large set piece. And this is in the Rosie Posey print. And I just have a change of clothes for my youngest. I literally just have a pair of underwear and a pair of shorts for him. Um, he's four, he's fully potty trained, but I just carry a pair um, of change of clothes just in case. Now I don't need to carry this in a large set piece. I could easily just throw this at the bottom. It's like a not a really needed pouch for that. But if I want to just carry this large set with me and not carry the BFF, I can take this and the clothes out, put the clothes in the BFF, and then I can have this to carry my wallet and all of the stuff that's up in that mommy pocket, and then I can have my little like purse. So that's why I have the clothes inside that large set piece, not really to use, utilize the pouch for the clothes, but just to have it in here in case I want to carry this um, for like my mommy stuff if I'm going inside somewhere and don't need the BFF. So hope that makes sense. I don't really have it in here for the clothes purposes, but just to have the pouch if I want to carry it um, by itself um, and not carry the BFF, like leave it in the car kind of thing. So that's what I have inside there. So that is a really good shot of what the inside looks like with nothing on that inside cavity of the BFF. It's absolutely huge. You guys can fit a ton. Over here on this side, I'm gonna kind of move it along. This video is gonna be like 30 minutes long, but <laughs> anyway. Um, inside this medium set piece, I have more stuff for me. I won't take everything out, but I have basically phone chargers. Um, I have a little like body splash. This is that Satsuma spray from Body Shop. I have a little travel deodorant and then phone chargers and gum for me. This is a medium set piece. And then over here on this side, I actually have a B Spendy in that Rosie Posey print. I love keeping it on that side pocket over there because I can just kind of unzip the corner, get my wallet out, put it back in. It's like easy peasy as opposed to putting it in that front mommy pocket and taking up the whole mommy pocket. I can just put it there and take the wallet out and I'm good to go. So I also like that the B Spendies have a spot here for a large strap, which I have in here. Um, I can just take my wallet out again and leave the BFF in the car if I want to. So have my wallet in there. Back here in this back pocket, I just have a thing of wipes. These are Kleenex wipes, um, just for like hands, faces, 
In this pocket here, I have a little custom piece. This is a like little mini um, med pouch. I have hair ties, band-aids, little healer stick, etc. for me, a tampon. So just kind of necessities um, if we ever need them. In this back zipper pouch um, here, I think I just have a hairbrush for my daughter and some more hair ties. And then a couple of these um, toothpick um, things here if we need those. These are things that we very rarely need. That's why they're back here in this zipper pocket. And then this zipper pocket back here, I believe I just have the large um, strap piece, again, for that pouch or my wallet if I wanna carry either of those. And I think that's it, yep. And that's all I have back there. So that is everything I have back or packed up in this gorgeous Olive Rose BFF. I hope that you guys found this video helpful and maybe gave you some new ideas to pack yours up, especially if you have older kids and maybe not kids in diapers. Um, and yeah, if you guys have any questions or comments, I would love to hear from you um, in the comments below. I hope you guys have an awesome summer and I'll talk to you on my next video. Bye.